Hey, this is Beauty by the Bee. I'm Bee. Today I'm going to be answering 2019's most Googled beauty questions. And these are going to be the top 10 how-to questions. So if you want to learn some new things, I've got 10 years of experience working as a professional makeup artist to guide you through them. Question 1. How to apply Color Street nails? Color Street is a pyramid scheme, so it does not matter how to apply them. You should not buy them. They prey on young single women. They prey on married, stay-at-home moms. They get people in debt via pyramid scheme. Please don't comment and say it's not a pyramid scheme and the pyramid schemes are illegal. I've heard it all. You know what it is. It's an MLM. Don't support them. Question two. How to apply fake lashes. I have a video tutorial on that that I will link in the bio. Also, I'll put it right here. Easy. Two, three minute video will teach you seamlessly how to apply lashes. Three, how to apply blush. This is a really good question because I polled several makeup artists who I know about this one because it's a question I've gotten a lot from many different people and many different makeup artists. And there's really no right way. I have seen some wrong ways, but there are lots of different methods to do it. Everyone really has a different style for doing this. This is my absolute favorite blush brush, and this is a Real Techniques brush. I just love the dome shape. Because of the taper in it, it blends really easily. My style is I like to go, I really love blush. I really love blush. And I love to hit it like the 80s. So I go heavy, all right here, all the way up here, okay? I didn't go as heavy as I usually do today because I have this dramatic eye look on, but usually just here, 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 rub it all into the temple, back and forth, back and forth. I love that stuff. The one thing I will say that is the wrong method of doing it is you can absolutely put it on your cheeks. Like, if you want it just right here, you can do it, you can throw it through your nose, but the wrong way to kind of mess your face up is gonna be to smile and put on the apples of your cheeks because when you drop, like, especially if you're like over 35, 40, your cheek here is not the same as here. So you're like here and then your blush is here. You know what I mean? So it's just like not that flattering. So you can do it just straight on. You don't have to smile to do it. Just, you're mostly not smiling probably throughout the day anyway. So you don't need to smile to apply it. But lots of different ways. Run it through here. You, whatever you want. Makeup is art. Just do whatever you want. There's no definitive way to do it. Do it till it makes you feel good. Question four, how to apply toner. So with a toner, you're usually gonna put it on a flat cotton pad and lightly spread it across the whole face after washing. You wanna just put like a very thin layer, just lightly rubbing it in. Um, it's gonna get all that like dirt that you missed out of the face. Prep the face for all your moisturizers and everything that's gonna go after it. You can do it face, neck, you know, all your skincare from top of your forehead to your nipples. That's where it's supposed to go. To the nipple. All this skin is real thin. I really, I personally really only do it to about right here because that's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. But it's very thin skin and you age a lot right here. So if you go like skincare here to here as well, your, your chest area is going to look much better later. Question five, how to apply liquid foundation? So there are two ways that I do it. So I'll kind of explain them both to you. And if you want an in-depth explanation of applying liquid foundations for different coverages, comment and let me know. This is just gonna be like a quick hit them all. The two ways that I like is mostly a beauty blender. I've been using a beauty blender for years and years and years, but lately I've been using foundations that it doesn't work as easily with. The thicker the foundation, the less it's gonna work with the beauty blender. But what I like about the beauty blender is one, you have to wet it. Never forget that it has to be used wet. Put it under the water, it's gonna double in size, put it in a tissue, wring it out to where it's fluffy, but not like dripping wet, okay? So it's gonna double in size, Put your foundation right here, tap it, and it just blends as you're putting it so it's so fast and easy to use. Like, if you're unsure of using liquid foundation, nothing is gonna be easier than this. It's gonna give you a medium to full coverage. You can get pretty full coverage with it. But lately, I've been using a brush, and this is a Morphe M439, and just any, like, like dense brush like this will work and it's just putting on your hand again tapping 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 and rolling it around um things especially like the becca ultimate coverage that only works with a brush you cannot use that with the beauty blender at all it looks crazy but it's because it's so high in pigment and so thick that this is just pressing it onto the skin and for like a really high coverage pigment you need to buff it around the skin to really cover it easily this wasteless product it does take a little more work to blend um, and to buff out, I think. So if you're not, if you don't need super full coverage, go Beauty Blender. If you're not using something extremely high pigmented, go to Beauty Blender. I think it's like super easy. But also, I'm saying Beauty Blender. I just mean a sponge. This is actually not a Beauty Blender. This is just a regular beauty sponge. But again, like those are the two different ways that I do a liquid foundation. So just see what works for you. But that's the way you do it with each of them. Question six. 
how to apply lashes. Also, I have a video on that that I will link in the description and right here in the corner right now so you can get a super easy lash tutorial. Question seven, how to apply self-tanner? So if you're using self-tanner, First and foremost, you need to take a shower and exfoliate your skin. You need to get all that dead skin off of your body so that the self-tanner can adhere better to your skin, not get blotchy, and also it's gonna last a lot longer because it's gonna absorb much better, much more evenly. Before you put on the self-tanner, you need to hit the elbows, hit the knees, hit the feet, the toes, the fingers all between, get in between those creases because it's really dry in these areas especially and they're so creasy that the self-tanner will get in those and just sit right there and look crazy. So if you're using a spray or a foam, you're gonna put it on a mitten and so you spray it or you spray the foam on there and you just do circular motions, circular <laughs> motions all the way around your body. You can do it for like two or three times if you want to just make sure you get a really deep coat. And then the wait time is gonna depend on what self tanner you're using and how deep you wanna go. Some you can go a light self tanner, a medium, a dark. Some just has one and depending how long you leave it will be how like deep your tan is. So read your bottle to figure that out, but definitely exfoliate lotion up I prefer the spray or the foam foam mostly and then definitely a mitten and then to get your back I always I always self tan myself I never get any help in it um usually I just really take the mitten to the end of my fingers and kind of hold it try to like tap my back and like just hope it's working I'm not gonna lie there's always like a little spot like this that never really gets touched who notices who's paying attention like get away like if you're not gonna come help me spray tan myself in my house do not mention my backless area of tanner, okay? Don't talk about it. Number eight, how to use coconut oil in your hair. So if you're gonna be using it as a mask, you can put it on your hair dry. You really wanna concentrate on these like dead ends, work it upward. You can go in your scalp to like um, get rid of some dryness put it all in, just lather it. It's gonna get like wet to the touch, you know, because it's gonna warm up with your body. You know, just go dry, put it all in, put it all in, and then you can leave it for about 30 minutes, shampoo it out. You might have to shampoo a couple times to get it out. But if you're gonna use it similarly to like a leave-in conditioner, only use a tiny amount, tiny, tiny, tiny. I'm talking like two peas, okay? Put it in your palm, Wipe it through your hands, start on the ends when your hair is wet, right when you get out of the shower, okay? Like still like really wet. Pull it through, pull it through, go up. Don't go that high. Maybe you get your little crispy bangs or little side hairs like me if you got them. That's probably why these are so crispy. I never get these enough. But then that would be your leave-in. Blow dry it into your hair. Number nine, how do I apply mascara? What I do is I like a comb because I have a real thin lash and I hold it like this and just wiggle it down, okay? And the same on the top. Like this, wiggle it up, turn as I go, wiggle, turn. I am like a weird eye person. I mean, it's not weird, okay? Y'all heard me say it. Like, it's not weird to be afraid of stuff around your eye. It's scary. So I'm not good at getting the top like this. When I do like that, I'm always kind of like making a mess of things. So I never go over the top. Um, I've seen some people do it rarely, but as far as doing it on my like clients that I do their makeup, I never go over the top because I don't trust any one. I'm gonna put it on the top, you're gonna start doing, and then your mascara is all over your freaking face that I just did. It's not gonna happen. I never go on the top on myself, I never go on the top on anybody else. Just put it in the root, wiggle upward, okay? Wiggle and turn, wiggle and turn. That's gonna give you enough. You can do a primer if you want a lot more drama. I never do more than one coat of black mascara. I know a lot of people do. I will do a primer and then I'll put the mascara, but that's all. And then last, but certainly not least, we have number 10 closing out with how do I apply a primer? So again, that is different with every different type of product. You need to read the directions, ask when you're buying it. That's why you should always shop in store so you can ask someone how to show you how to use a certain product. Everyone's gonna be different, but I'm gonna show you two different ones. So for something like um, Becca's Ever Matte Primer, you're going to tap it into the skin. So just take a little bit on your fingers, rub it until it's clear, and then you tap it on the skin. And you can even put this one over makeup. And this can be a touch up if you're extra, extra oily. 
tap it in and that's gonna mattify on top of the skin but if you rub it it is going to like make your makeup freaking weird so you can absolutely misuse some primers by using them incorrectly so that's why you gotta ask but most primers especially the hydrating ones like the correcting one from pure you just take a little bit and just rub it in that would be like enough for like the whole face probably that one you're gonna rub in just like a moisturizer and then just let it dry for a couple minutes and apply your makeup on it but that's gonna be your top 10 how to googled questions of 2019 so I hope this cleared up a lot of questions that you had maybe to introduce some new things to you but if you feel like you want me to touch on these just a little bit more because I just went through a fast overhaul of everything then comment and let me know B I need to see more thank you so much for watching